It's a Thursday afternoon and it feels like a very particular... It's a Thursday afternoon and it feels like a very appropriate time to talk about a game and box. And this particular game is two games. It's Batman and The Untouchables in a double themed pack. Now, Ocean and various other publishers went down this route of doing a couple of games in a box bundle to make it appeal to people who liked films. And, you know, I don't really care for this sort of thing. We've got some sort of generic image on the front. We've got the Batman logo and the Untouchables logo and a Hollywood sign there. And they would definitely get done for copyright infringement now. Um, and this is the Amiga one. There's nothing even on the back. It's a very basic situation. Inside we get these, what seems like leftover tape packs from the Spectrum and 8-bit era, which they've continued over and inserted a disc into. There we go, CBM Amiga. And this is very similar to the packaging you'd find on the Spectrum. And like Batman, a legend has returned. And that's in a different language. Batman is a shadow in the darkness. That wouldn't really appear at all, would it? You need light for a shadow. As elusive as a dream, high above the seamy streets of Gotham, he is a criminal's nightmare, the only hope for a desperate city. Inside we have the manual, which dictates it's for Atari ST and CBM Amiga, and the various instructions, which I'm not going to go into. But, not a bad game for the Amiga. Not bad. I did prefer the 8-bit versions, but... We're not talking about that, and now I'm talking about The Untouchables with a terrible cover. I just hate movie covers where they're just photos. At least create some inspiring artwork or something. On the back, we're told that you can take on the mob. The ultimate six... The ultimate six exciting action sequences put you in control of Elliot Ness's elite squad of crime busters. Okay. And here with the disc, disc one. Oh, yep, yeah, there is two discs. Disc one and disc two, always handy. And we have an obligatory instruction manual. And these things were just sort of thrown together. There you go, we got some artwork there. Single sheet affairs, all very cheap and cheerful. But if you had a few quid spare out of your pocket money and you fancied two games rather than one, then maybe one of these bundles was something worth investing in. If not, it certainly wasn't.